Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box there is some math and your challenge is to figure out what that is. Use the link in the description to try this out and when you think you got an idea come on back and see if we get the same thing. Okay let's start with a zero. Oh well right away we get that infinity error with zero and usually what I'm thinking when I see that is maybe it's a rational function. It's possible it's something else but um, this is the family that I would look at first. So let's put in a few more numbers now. One gives us five, and how about two? Point five, okay, how about three? So it looks like we're getting that kind of curved arm. It, you know, if this was just one over x, we'd expect an arm up here and an arm down here. Uh, let me go out further to the to the left. Let's put in a or further to the right. Let's put in a seven. Mm -hmm. And let's just uh, do some fractional values. Let's put in one half. One half or up at ten. So let's see if we get something that looks like this down in the third quadrant, and and then we'll we'll be pretty sure it's that base function I wrote down to to the left there is is it's in that family for sure. So let's try this. So negative one. That's a negative five. Okay, we got some symmetry there. How about a negative two? Mm -hmm. And negative three. Let's put in a negative seven. Okay. So all of this looks like what I would expect for this function one over x, except when I put in one, I get five and that doesn't work but otherwise it looks like it right so i think it's something very close to one over x it looks like it's approaching the the x-axis as a horizontal asymptote it looks like it's approaching the y-axis as a, a vertical asymptote so i think it's just x on the bottom or it might be x multiplied by something on the bottom but uh, i think it might just be x on the bottom so if we start with one over x as our base function let's just think about what would be the easiest way to get five if you put in one and you could either add five well i guess if you're adding five this would just become five so five over x let's see if if that works so if i put in if i put in one i've got five over one what if i put in two so five over two oh yeah that would be two and a half uh, five halves is 2.5 that makes sense what if i put in one half so five over one half well, dividing by one half is the same thing as multiplying by two, and that gives us 10, and that's what we've got. So I think it's just five over x. Let's take a look. Yeah, f of x equals five over x. Let's graph it. You get those two arms of the, the typical one over x rational function. It's just a, a little further away uh, from, from the origin than one over x would be. Well, how did that go for you? Did you see rational function? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.